Howdy folks, name's Cowboy Pete. Now, seeing as I spent my days out here in the desert in the hot sun driving cattle, good folks over at artsciencefun.com asked me to help them out with a series of videos about some of the scientificals that go on during summertime. Well, this week they'll be talking to y'all about why our bodies excrete an aqueous solution of salts and electrolytes whenever we get too hot. Oh, I'm sorry. This here video is about the science of sweat. Thanks, Cowboy Pete. Boy, he sure is a swell guy. And like he said, this week we're going to be talking to you about the science of sweating. I sweat, you sweat, we all sweat when it's a hot day out like it is today. What's sweating all about, anyway? Well, our bodies are very, very finely tuned machines. If they get a couple degrees too warm, forget about it. They're going to stop functioning. That means you die. So, it's incredibly important that our bodies have some sort of mechanism to self-regulate temperature. And sweating is one of those mechanisms. When you get too hot, your body sweats to cool you off. But what sweating really does is it creates a layer of water on your skin. And when that water evaporates off your skin in the hot, hot sun, it actually decreases the temperature. And that decrease in temperature is what helps your body stay cold. I reckon that whenever matter changes faces, the accompanying change in heat is called the latent heat. Yeah, that's right, Cowboy Pete. <laughs> what a great guy. He's right, though. When the matter changes phases, the accompanying change in heat is called latent heat. And so it's latent heat that cools down your skin and keeps you nice and alive on a hot summer day like this. Well, y'all take care now. See you next week. <laughs>